For 30 years, Barbara Boltinghouse has been teaching classes regarding history and French, although teaching wasn't her first option. And I, I, I'm kind of with a, a group of qu quite a few other people. Uh, teaching is not their first profession. My first profession was in real estate, and it was a focus on law. And um, so, you know, I'd always been focused in, in kind of like corporate law and business law, and I got into real estate and was working, in, working toward law and law classes. And I just as time went on and the family began to grow, I realized I'm not going to be able to, I think, pursue law and real estate and whatnot with kids. And so teaching seemed to be another alternative, one that I fell in love with. Um, I'm really glad, I, I, I'm glad law did not work. I love teaching. There's never a boring day. Um, so yeah, it didn't start off that way, but now it, it has become a passion. Happy with the way things turned out, Bolting House teaches five yeah. history classes that keep her busy and entertained. And they're going to go below the Rockies, which is Utah. Um, I think the amount of teaching I have to do, one of the things here is really great. I have five preps, so I have five different classes that I teach, and there's never a dull moment. Um, you know, just, just history is fascinating. I, I love it. And with the amount that I have to teach, it always keeps something new in my room. Although she's happy, there are times where teaching isn't so great. I want you to laugh. I want you to visit when you're working. But I want you to keep one thing at the top and, and focused on. Let's get this done. So, well, you know, it, like anybody, when you're talking or you're trying to do something, and I don't want to just leave it as not paying attention, but, you know, kind of like, you know, talking, having a conversation of their own, and you're trying to teach, and you're looking out at, at the audience, because that's who the kids are, that's who my class is, they're the audience, and just as an actor looks out in the audience, if someone's talking, you're not going to be doing your best performance. And, and so, you know, common courtesy, you know, if I'm, I'm sorry if it's boring, but, um, you know, can you keep the noise level down so we can just, you know, continue with our information. It's right over the Despite river. that, Bolting House keeps a high energy throughout the class and gets freedom to her students, okay, like exploring more on the topic in their own time to help keep them engaged. If you go into, if guys, if you go to Council Bluffs today and you go down the main street, which is called Broadway, there's a part of it that moves off and it's called Canesville. And Canesville is what, this was their new town. They, they found it. You know, one of the things I think that um, I love the best, uh, and we don't get a big chance to do this like in AP Art History, but we did in the regular history classes, and that's kind of do outcome-based projects. I do an awful lot about a lot of that in um, Academic Decathlon, where you kind of set something up, and when setting something up, like the, maybe the background of, of mute, well, for example, right now we're doing the Revolutionary War in Academic Decathlon. And so you kind of set up what music was, but then you set a goal and a rubric of where you want it, the kids to go, and you just kind of hand out information, and the kids go and research and bring back and teach to the class. And I really like that because, you know, you're still there to guide them, but um, what's really cool is they become the teacher. And we all know that when you teach something, that ownership really sticks with you. Bolsing House will soon retire happily, satisfied with the way she's lived her life. This is Sakina signing off for the Burke Beat Student News.